It looks like devil, but I know that's not what it says. It says something else. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well out on the table here in front of us, we have everything from yesterday's trip to Finders Keepers consignment. Uh, I haven't actually had a video here at this store yet. It was my second time going there and the last time I went, I didn't find anything and I actually didn't even get a video from my trip there the first time. So this time I wasn't expecting a whole lot and obviously we got a whole lot. So we're gonna make a video talking about what we got, how much we paid for it, and how much we can expect to get for it on eBay. So um, things no longer have their tags on them because when she rang me up, she took the tags out of all the items. So I'm gonna tell you my total spend here was $230, but I took out all the items that I am keeping for myself and that brings our total spend down to $153. So the items I'm keeping for myself include the painting, uh, that I paid 16 something for. Uh, it includes the uh, bird bowls that were 32, I believe, and also the micro mosaic pendant, which was 20. So all of those together brings our price down to $153. So all the stuff I'm gonna talk about today, our total spend was 153, but I can't tell you individually what things cost especially because they were really weird prices, like $50.43. Normally, sometimes I can remember like, oh, this was $2, this was three. But when you're talking like $15.43, I can't remember that. So we're gonna go through this stuff. We're gonna get it through it fast because I gotta go shopping. I gotta go buy some more stuff. <laughs> so, all right, let's start over on this side of the table. We're gonna start with these, which were actually one of the last items that I picked up. They are marked Iroquois, China, Syracuse, New York. Fun, fun fact, my family is actually from Syracuse, New York. I never lived there personally, but both of my parents did and my grandparents. So uh, I really liked these. I, I've talked about restaurant wear in the past. I talked about it in yesterday's video, actually, maybe two videos ago. Uh, restaurant wear. I'm really into it right now. Well, not personally, but buying it for resale, I am, because there's a lot of people collecting it. Uh, when you go to a diner and they serve stuff on restaurant wear, that's a thing. So <laughs> I buy restaurant wear hoping that I can fill somebody's growing restaurant wear collection with that one piece that they are missing. So I bought a whole stack of these divided plates. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven all together. We paid a dollar a piece for those. Let's see, I did remember that. Paid a dollar a piece for those. I would expect to get at least at least five dollars a piece for those. I'm I'm probably gonna end up selling them. I don't know. If I'm selling them auction, I should probably sell them all as a set. If I'm selling them by it now, I would sell them individually and just put a quantity of seven. I'm not sure how I'm gonna sell these yet. Uh, but I could expect at least five dollars a piece for those. I couldn't find any list. Oh, we've already got a train going by. We just started the video and we've got a train. I'm gonna pause the video right here and I'll be right back. Okay, well hopefully we don't have another train. So that is the restaurant where, our very first item. Let's get through the others. Um, another item that we picked up was this beautiful Nippon Swan plate. Now I want to say that I only paid $4 and change for this plate. I was absolutely shocked because I just thought it was so pretty. And it's kind of got this Art Deco border around the edge. It's very thin, but I like the whole design of it. I thought there had to be something wrong with it for it to be that low, but the fact that it had been there since I think July, that's probably why it was so low. So with this plate right here, I would expect to get I want to say 25 at least for this. There are other swan plates sitting on eBay right now, some that have sold, and that's about what they sell for is 20 to 25. Some of the really nicely painted ones tend to fetch a little bit more, but I would be optimistic with $25 for this. So, set that up there. All right, uh, let's talk about these because these I really like. 
and I may have paid a bit much for these, but I just, I don't know. I just really like the black contrast with the embroidery. They're marked TZ. I'm not sure what that means. Obviously it's the artist signature, but they're marked TZ. This one is flowers with a little bee flying down to the flower. And this one appears to be just a tree with maybe, maybe it's a cherry tree with some cherry blossoms. I'm not sure, but they're definitely Asian themed um, and they're embroidery. So I really liked these. There are no other marks on them besides this mark and I couldn't find any similar. So I paid $9 a piece for them. I would expect 20 to 25 for them. Uh, even the matting is in really nice condition. Just overall, they're in really good condition. So probably 20 to 25 for those. Now let's talk about these beautiful pieces. Hmm, I thought they both had their sticker, but apparently not. I grabbed two of these at the very end of yesterday's video and I was just so excited because I kind of, I wandered down this one row of furniture that I hadn't, I didn't really go into the furniture because the way the furniture is set up, it's kind of like all in one area and they have stuff sitting on the dressers and whatnot, kind of as just dresser decor. And I hadn't gone down this row of dressers. And so as she was packing my stuff, I decided to go down this row of dressers and they're sitting on top of the dressers were these two Royal Haker pieces. And with one of them, at least, has the sticker on it. So these are just little dishes, covered dishes. I guess they could be candy dishes or vanity dishes, like they had them on there. They're just marked Hager, they're not Royal Hager, so they're probably a little bit later than the original Hager, I'm sorry, Royal Hager. Um, but I'm, I'm not saying they're like modern, they're still vintage and mid-century, but I really liked them. And uh, these would sell probably for about 25 to 30, I would say. They're the Golden Drip Glaze, I believe. And I've got two of them, so that was pretty exciting. Another piece we got was this beautiful, stunning bowl. Now, I suspect this is Nippon. However, the mark on the bottom is Asian characters. It is not marked in English. So what that tells me is it's possible it was not intended for import, not intended for export. Um, it was... It was, I don't know. It, it definitely has some age to it. I really like it. I love the vibrancy of the gold. The flowers are beautiful. It's a beautiful bowl. I was so excited when I spotted it. Um, for this piece, I would probably expect 25 to 30 for this. Uh, that's typically what they sell for when we put them up on eBay. So that was a fun piece. Um, while we're at that, I think the birds are talking to each other. <laughs> Uh, we got some little demi toss cups if it's gonna focus i'll put my head behind the cup now i just saw these cups sitting in the same china cabinet with that beautiful bowl now these say ak on the bottom now that's a mark that i recognize from some of the limoges i've been working with and they're not marked limoges but then somebody one of my viewers commented on the video Something about Limoges and AK, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense, because I didn't actually research them per se, but I believe AK is associated with Limoges France porcelain. So just two really dainty little cups with a pretty design on them. For these, I would expect probably eight to 12 a piece. They have a very nice hand-painted design. So I grabbed both of those. We've got this really neat nut dish. Now, <laughs> I'm assuming it's a peanut dish because the back is actually decorated like a peanut. And I've never actually seen one like this before. It is marked Nippon. And I don't know, like I, f I find nut dishes a lot, but I've, I've never seen one with the peanut design on the outside. So for me, when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna grab this because our last nut dish didn't do fantastic, so I've kind of been like, uh, do I really want to try another one? They're not really selling that well. But of course, how am I gonna say no to that? So I did buy this one. Um, for this one, I would probably expect to get 18 to 24 for this because of the peanut design on the back. 
I believe our last one sold, I wanna say 14 to 16. So it wasn't overwhelmingly good, but I think this one's gonna do better because of that design on the back. Uh, another item I picked up was this guy, this box. <laughs> I really liked him. Now, I some people had suggested in the comments that he is a lid to something. It's possible. I could not find another one like it, and that could be because he's a lid to something, and I was just searching figurine. But I just I've got a thing about foxes. I love foxes. I've got a fox tattoo on my leg. For those of you who don't know, um, I just I'm obsessed with foxes, and so is Sam, right, Sam? Yes. Yes, she is. Um, so we're uh, just collectively obsessed with foxes. Uh, it does have a like a sticker on the inside. So I don't know what that sticker is, but when I saw this, I decided I was gonna keep it for myself. <laughs> and, but I don't know who makes it and I don't know how much it would be worth because of that. And I don't know if it was a lid even. It does seem to have kind of a, a lip on there. So it's possible that it is a lid to something, but I like foxes, what can I say? Now I also grabbed this creamer out of the china cabinet with the other pieces. I I liked the design on this creamer. It's not the best artwork. Sue talks a lot about how that artwork looks like Juliet could have done it. Give Juliet a paintbrush and she could paint that. That's kind of like this piece. It's painted outside the lines, but I really liked the line work of the flowers. It kind of struck me as being Arts and crafts, maybe a little bit nouveau. I liked the lines of the flowers. And granted, whoever painted them in was maybe five years old, but it doesn't really matter to me. I think that this piece would probably sell for 15. So I got it. And it actually has a sticker on the bottom, something antiques, the, the sticker's coming off, but it says it was obviously in an antique shop at one point in its life. So I really liked that. We've also got this. Now this was in the very back of the store hiding. It was hiding in the back of the store. It is also Nippon. There was so much Nippon in this store. There was just, there was so much in general in this store. I was kind of going a little crazy. Uh, I love stuff behind, obviously, if you watch the video. I was like, I have to leave stuff behind. I feel so horrible about this. But I, I liked this dish. I liked the simplicity of the design around the edges and the fact that it has this little handle in the center. I thought it was just a nice little a serving plate for cookies or whatever um, and I decided that I was going to buy it. It actually says hand paintia, not hand painted, it's hand paintia on the back. So I think that makes it rare. Just kidding, not really. They just forgot the duh at the end. Um, this piece right here I would expect probably to get, I want to say 18 for right around there probably. Now uh, we've got a couple more items out on the table. Let's talk about our little salt cellars. I've been doing really well with salt cellars. So when I find them, I buy them. These ones are Germany and they are just gold. There's no special designs on them. The inside is kind of this luster, this white pearly luster. But I left some of them wrapped because I wanted to show you how well this woman wrapped my things. You know, we go to a lot of thrift stores and granted, I can't complain, they usually wrap my things very well. Uh, but this lady, she <laughs> took the time to not only wrap every single little item, but she taped them. She taped them all shut and she used a piece of newspaper for every single little piece of everything. I was just so in awe as I'm unwrapping all this stuff and like pulling it all apart and I'm like, is this taped? What is happening right here? It took, you can ask Sam, it took me like 15 minutes to just unwrap this, which is great. Everything was so just cradled and protected and I I was I felt really good about it. Um, they were so nice at the shop. They, they, ooh, are you okay in there? They're talking, I'm sure they're just talking. They're not actually hurting each other or anything. Um, but I mean, it was, it was just, it was such a friendly experience. Uh, they knew I was reselling. They gave me their card to, sh you know, not even asking me to show it on the video. And I did because they were just so friendly. Um, with even knowing that I'm, re you know, some stores you go into and they kind of get a little weird when they find out you're reselling, but they were just so friendly and they knew that I was reselling and they packed everything with so much care. 
and oh, it was just a wonderful experience. I'm definitely gonna be back. And they have other locations, so I'm excited to check out some of those other locations. Um, I guess they've got a few in New York, as well as where I was, I guess in Hanover. I don't think it was actually in Hanover, it was on the outskirts of Hanover. But um, So the salt cellars, I'm probably expecting to get, there's five of them, so I would expect to get I'm gonna say 18 to 24 for those, which seems high, but we've been doing really well with salt sellers lately, the open salts, these, these little guys. We've been doing well for those. So that's why I was willing to pay. And they were $12, 20% off. So I paid, I'm not gonna do that math, but that's what they were. They were $12 and 20% off. So um, we're gonna do pretty well with those. This guy, is just a cat. It's a cat picture. It's marked Portugal on the bottom. You guys know I can't usually say no to anything cat. Uh, this guy, I'd probably expect to get 25 to 30 for it. Cat stuff sells well. Uh, and so I would expect to get, and he's actually got some crazing on him. So I think he's vintage. I don't think he's like really vintage, but I think he's probably, I want to say nineties maybe. I know 90s is vintage. I'm vintage, yeah. So I know a lot of people are like, I feel so old when you say 90s vintage. Well, yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> we've got this piece. This I'm, I actually bought for Ashton and I did pay a little bit much for this. I think I paid $9, if it's gonna focus. I paid $9 for the little glass duck and that's about how much it's worth. It is actually, it, it has a sticker on it. It says Langham glass made in England. It's a duck. Um, they sell for 10 to 12. So I paid $9. It was still undervalued for eBay, uh, probably for their market, which is South Central Pennsylvania. It was right on point. But Ashton's going to love it. I'm going to put it away probably for Christmas. But he's going to like that. So I uh, paid $9 for that. I probably should have subtracted that from our total value too. I did not. So that brings us again down to like 140 something. So, And the fox, I didn't subtract that either. So, hmm. Um, I'm really not very good at this, I guess. I just know we're gonna be making a profit, so there we go. This piece right here is an ashtray, a really pretty cobalt blue ashtray with floral designs. I love cobalt blue glass, so that's kind of what drew me to this piece was the beautiful cobalt glass. And the flowers are all intact, and with the exception of one that I just noticed, but they're mostly intact. <laughs> uh, I just love, I love the glass. So it is an ashtray, but it can be used for just about anything. Uh, a lot of people say that they use them for makeup brushes, for paint brushes, for incense. It could be used for anything, but the glass is just stunning. So Tilso Japan, I would expect probably 18 for that because of the color of the glass. Ooh, my ring. I know you hate that, I'm sorry. Uh, so this is Fenton. I'm just trying to read hand painted by, it looks like devil, but I know that's not what it says. It says something else and I can't read it. I'm going to, I'm going to assume that it doesn't say devil. I'm just seeing things or not seeing things for that matter. Um, this ruby red glass vase is Fenton. Um, it's got this white these white flowers on it. Now we talked recently about the Mary Gregory design. Uh, we were at St. Vinny's and I picked up a bell that was marked for $50. It was a green bell and it had this little girl on it. Uh, that is considered a Mary Gregory design. Uh, I think Mary Gregory originally made a glass that had the, these white silhouettes of children playing and that's how it became the Mary, uh, Mary Gregory design. But other companies picked it up and started making it. So now it's just considered a Mary Gregory design and it's not necessarily made by Mary Gregory. This is similar to that but not entirely because it's not little people, it's flowers. But but it's made in white, kind of a silhouette, so that's why I'm bringing it up. But some of that work, yeah, Fenton did actually pick up and start making some of that work. But um, this, this is kind of similar to that style but not quite. This piece right here would sell for about $18 to $25 if I were to sell it. I believe it's gonna find a place up on my shelf for now because I'm kinda lacking in red. I need some red, so it's gonna like fill in the red areas where I'm lacking. And, and then maybe eventually it'll end up on, on eBay, but 
this vase marked USA. I picked this up for $4 and a lot of you fun sponges in the comments had to ruin it for me. Just kidding. That was a joke. Uh, I was so excited for $4 and I was like, can this be true? Is this really $4? This is amazing. I can't believe I can get this for $4. And you guys are like, didn't you notice that crack? It does. It has a crack. It's a really small crack, but it is a crack. It's right here on the edge. I don't know. It's maybe like an inch long and you can see on this side too. So it's just a small crack. It doesn't go down into the body of the vase. So I'm not totally concerned about it. If it went down into the body of the vase and the vase couldn't hold water, then I'd be like, oh, that sucks. But just on the rim, it's not a chip. It's a very dark crack, which means it's been there for a long time. I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, now, if it was like a huge crack that went all the way down to the, I would probably cry myself to sleep at night. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, so this piece right here, I would expect, I, I, like I said, I paid $4 for it. I would expect probably to get 15 to 20. I think if it was in better condition, if it didn't have that crack, if it didn't have that crazing, I would probably expect to get like 25 to 30 for it. But we're gonna shoot low on this because of that crack. But it's still a really nice piece, and I love that yellow. I love the yellow glaze. I think that's all. Everything. The yellow gray. The, the yellow glaze. The yellow glaze is everything on that. Okay. Um, we've got a few more items out here. Let's get through these. Now this little guy was in the case. He is a Joseph's original. Now the reason I know about Joseph's originals is because when I was a little girl, my mom had all the Joseph's original little Christmas people like little girls and bells and stuff. So that's how I'm familiar with the brand. Um, this is Joseph's Originals. It's a little elephant with a butterfly. I couldn't find any like it. I couldn't find any comps online. So I don't know what it's worth. I think I paid 10 for it. Again, I do well with elephants. So I'm expecting probably to get at least 20 for it because there are no chips or cracks or even crazing on this little guy. He is in really good condition. So I don't know if he's supposed to be Dumbo. It's possible he's supposed to be Dumbo, but not supposed to be Dumbo, if you know what I mean. They're not saying that, but it's possible. Okay, here we have some Mexican pottery. This is Tonala. Not Mark Tonala, but that's what it is. So this piece I picked up because it had a bird on it. If it didn't have the bird, I probably would have left it because it doesn't fetch insane amounts of money, but I like when it has birds on it, so I have a tendency to grab it. Uh, it's got this kind of feather design and then the bird. It's all, I guess this could also be a leaf, perhaps. Um, this piece right here, I would expect to get about $25 for because it's a larger vase and because it has a burn on it. So it's a really nice piece. And it is marked Mexico on the bottom. Is it going to focus for you? It's marked Mexico on the bottom. So I've got that. I've got this guy. Now this guy I'm not entirely sure of. I don't know who makes this. I want to say, uh, I don't know. I don't believe it's Fenton. But it is a blue satin glass with daisies on it, which I don't think are hand painted. I think these ones may be applied. I don't think they're hand painted like the ruby vase. Uh, but I just liked this. I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy about glassware, you guys know. For this piece, I would expect probably to get 12 to $16 without knowing who makes it, just for the fact that it is glass. Then we've got our bird bowls, which I'm keeping for myself, so I'm not actually selling these. But I wanted to give you guys a better look at them. Um, each bowl is actually painted differently. They all have different birds on them. There are six little bowls and a larger bowl. And I'm just amazed by the fact that not a single one of these bowls has a signature. There is no signature, there's no chalk mark, there is nothing to indicate who makes these bowls. It just kind of blows me away. Because I really like them and I want to know who makes them. Um, 
And Drew actually hasn't seen them yet, but I feel like when he does see them, he's gonna be like, these are the best bowls ever! Um, Cause we like birds, it's a thing. All right, so last but not least, another brandy snifter. You guys are probably wondering like, where do you put all your brandy snifters? Well, um, I put them above my cabinets. I've got them all above my cabinets. I've got them behind me here. I've got them on the cabinet over there. I've got them on the windowsill over here. I just accumulate them. And eventually, even Sam says to me the other day, you're just gonna have to start selling some because you're running out of room. Turn it all. <laughs> Anyway, um, these, as I explained the other day, they, ha they have a tendency to sell for $25 to $35. Uh, ones like this, this is different than the optic that we've been seeing. This one kind of has polka dots on it. This one will probably sell in the higher end, not the lower end of the optic because it's got polka dots. So probably closer to $35, but not above that. When, when you go above that, you're talking about the ones with the handles, like we talked about before. We won't go back into it because we've already talked about it. But... Oh, wait, did we talk about this? I don't think we did. I think we missed this. Um, this bowl right here, I just, I really liked it. <laughs> I liked it. It's reverse painted. This green is reverse painted and then it has the florals painted on it. I liked it. I feel like we've had one similar before that was kind of an art deco. This one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was art deco, probably 1940s or 50s. But I really liked the flowers on it uh, for this piece I would expect to get 35 to 42 dollars for it because of the design because of the fact that the flowers aren't wearing and neither is the reverse painting so It's just a really nice. It's like a, a console bowl that would sit in the center. So That is everything that we got in yesterday's shopping video. I'd say we did pretty darn good I'm pleased with everything that we got including the stuff that I'm keeping for myself um, but as a reminder, I'm doing a, a shirt campaign. Can't forget to mention that before we sign off. So make sure you go check that out. Um, I'm running a limited time shirt campaign. So what that means is on November 16th, 2019, the shirts are no longer available. So you need to go check them out before then. And there's a link down in the description so you can go check those out. But um, I think that sums up our video. I'm going to go shopping so that I have a video for you guys tomorrow because as of right now, I have nothing. I have no material to work with. So I'm going to go shopping, hopefully find some treasures, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>